The Salt Range is a series of mountains in the Punjab province of Pakistan. The terrain is beautifully exhilarating. Its average height is 2200 feet. The range extends along the south of the Portaha Plateau till north of the Jhelum River. The habitat is a subtropical scrub forest with vegetation predominantly of Acacia modesta and Caparis aphylla. Caparis is known for its medicinal properties and ecologically helps in protecting soil from erosion. Other species include wild olive trees, shisham and zizipus. Deriving its name from its extensive deposits of rock salt, the salt range contains the great salt mines of Kiora. Coal is also found. The salt range region has unique biodiversity. Flora and fauna of the region is very special. Large variety of birds and animals are found here. These wildlife species are indicators of a healthy environment. Lakes worth mentioning in the salt range are Uchili, Khabaki, and Tala Lakes. Uchili Wetlands Complex is Ramsar site blessed with the rich natural resources which harbor great varieties of bird fauna in and around their catchment areas. These wetlands receive a large number of migratory waterfowl. These wetlands are important for international conservation as they presently support the only wintering flock of white-headed duck which visits Pakistan and breeds only in the salt range. Besides white-headed duck, some other bird species also listed in the IUCN Red Data Book are supported by these lakes. Kallarkahar Lake is also a very unique habitat for migratory waterfowl species. Kallarkahar Lake is a brackish lake where every year large number of migratory birds used to visit in the past. Unfortunately, few important species have not been seen visiting Kallarkahar Lake. Kalakahar Hills also have a good number of Indian peafowl. Because of its unique location and fertile soil, tall grass grows every year during rainy seasons. Many wildlife species that are restricted distribution in Pakistan can be seen here. Historically, rhinos had been to this area. Few evidences of wolf and common leopard are observed by the locals. 
The salt range is only the second region in Pakistan, where as many as six galliform species coexist with each other. They are the grey and black fan collins. Chakor, C.C. Partridge, Common Quail and Rain Quail. It is a paradise for those who love to see game birds. It is also home to the endemic subspecies of Uriel, namely Punjab Uriel, which is only found in Salt Range. Uriel is a wild sheep distributed across Salt Range. They are gregarious and live in herds of females, lambs and immature males. The rams live in small groups outside the rutting season till the breeding season. Their face is usually greyish. They have long slender legs and creamy white belly while the body fur is generally reddish-grey in colour. Adult rams have a prominent chest ruff of long straight hairs. Rams of Punjab Uriel stand up to 30 inches at the shoulder. The horns of mature males are arc-shaped and curved out widely from the body. Older rams have traces of greyish-white saddle mark in the winter coat. Female Punjab Orioles stand up to 27 inches at the shoulder. They have slender upward curving horns. The preferred food of Oriole is grass. They mostly feed either early in the morning or in the evening. They also browse the leaves of Acacia, Kicker and Sisyphus berry. Rutting season in Punjab Oriel starts from mid-October and lasts until late November. This is the time when Orioles are active. Fights occur between adult rams during the rut. The sound of impact of their horns can be heard from quite a distance. Mature rams continuously travel in search of females. and mating occurs. The gestation period of Punjab Oriel female is approximately 160 days, while the lambs are born from late March to early May. Sometimes twin lambs are also born. Mother with the young lamb prefers the shelter of a bush or an overhanging rock where they can hide. The lambs quickly gain strength as they are born and become active. The young lambs suckle for five to seven months. The young lambs of Oriel show close affiliation with their mother up to the age of 10 to 12 months. The population of Punjab Oriel is fighting for its survival. Population is constantly under attack as illegal poachers and hunters are active in the area. The trade of Oriel lamb is increasing. Few areas where conservationists 
are serious in preservation, the wildlife is seen in large groups only. Damaging wildlife habitat is direct threats to the wildlife. Coal mining is also damaging forests that reduce the wildlife habitat. Deforestation and burning of forests by the wood mafia are also direct threats to the wildlife. Without wildlife, we don't have healthy forests. Without forests, we don't have a healthy planet. How will we win the fight against the climate crisis? We need nature to be restored. वाइल्डलाइफ को बचाने में बहुत ज़्यादा मुश्किलात हैं हमने कम्युनिटी को इसमें शामिल किया है और कम्युनिटी को ले के साथ चल रहे हैं कम्युनिटी को अवेयरनेस दी और उन्हें समझाया कि ये जानवर बहुत कीमती हैं और इनकी वजह से ही हमारी बका है और हमने इनको बचाना है और फाइनली हम इसमें कामयाब हुए शुक्र अदा करते हैं कि आज हमें इन पहाड़ों में वो खूबसूरती दोबारा नजर आ